Dr. Jess Mason here to review the Elson and modified Elson tests for central slip injury, starting with an anatomy review. The extensor tendons of the fingers have a central band across the top and lateral bands, well, laterally. If there's an injury to the central band or central slip, but the lateral bands remain intact, then the PIP joint cannot be fully extended and the DIP will hyperextend. Over time, this will cause a boutonniere deformity. Here are two patients with volar, also known as palmar, finger dislocations. So that's high risk for a central slip injury, and we need to do an Elson test to assess for that. Have the patient curl their fingers around the edge of a table or a box with their fingers flexed at the PIP, and then they extend their finger while you apply pressure to the middle phalanx. If the central slip is intact, you'll feel tension as the finger is extended. In this case, there is not much tension, which is concerning for a central slip injury. So this patient needs close follow-up with a hand surgeon. The modified Elson test has the benefit of comparing the injured finger to the same finger on the other hand. The patient touches together their thumbs and the middle phalanx of the finger being tested. They attempt to touch their fingertips together and they should not be able to do it because the central slip holds tension. So this is normal and it looks symmetric. In a central slip injury simulated here on the left hand, the left finger is straight at the DIP compared to the right hand. 